Would you rather take physical or verbal abuse? If someone were to pick up a chair and hit you with it, I think many of us would really dislike that. But what if someone doesn't really hit you, but instead they argue with you over nonsense every day? say belittling things about you like insulting you calling you I don't like using this word but calling you stupid idiot moron you will never progress in life Bad things will always follow you. Like you will grow up to be nothing. Like constantly verbally abusing you. I think some people really may not really know how damaging verbal abuse can be i think many people if you if they were in a fight and their arm got broke they may see that as a very huge thing like hey this person was in a fight their arm got broken so horrible but what if A person tells you, hey, when I go home, my mother, my father, uh, my cousin, uh, wife, husband, whomever, insults me every day. Yes, I don't have a broken bone. Yes, I don't have, you know, really an illness from it, but... Do people really take it seriously? They may say, hey, suck it up, as in get over it. Like, keep on doing what you have to, as if, so the person with the broken arm, I guess people see what that person is going through as huge, but the person that is being insulted and criticized and argued with so often, do you see that as a big deal right there? If I am saying this correctly, I believe there are people who struggle with self-esteem problems because of what they have been told in the past. I truly believe so. Some people may feel less than because of a person who was or is reckless with words. That person's broken arm will heal. I would say on average, right? But aren't there people who are still struggling with words that they have heard years ago? I believe so. Some people may be in their 50s and may still remember stuff that happened to them when they were a kid. Do we really take verbal abuse seriously? It's not all about physical abuse. Yes, if someone slaps you, if someone punches you, you may get a bruise. This may happen. Worst cases, you may die. You may, you may die. I understand that. But 
are we really taking verbal abuse seriously? I don't think so. We may see a person who breaks your leg or your arm as a very, very bad person. But the person who argues with you, the person who insults you, we may see that person as, you know, whatever, but we may not see that person as horribly or worse than the person who breaks bones. And I think that is wrong. In my opinion, and I think it really depends, I believe someone who is very physical, I think that is very bad. And as in physical abuse, I believe that is very bad. And I think verbal abuse is equal or maybe a little bit more. Because if someone slaps you, you know, the pain may be small. Eventually, the pain may go away. But in some cases, what a person told you may stick with you much longer than the pain that you may feel if someone hits you. I hope this is making sense. I think in many cases, I'd rather be hit than to be constantly verbally abused. Yes, I may feel very bad about why a person hit me, but verbal abuse, if someone really has an already weak self-image of themselves, if someone begins to say very hurtful things to that individual, I think that can do so much damage. So pay, so you may say to yourself, hey, I can say whatever I want to say because words are just words. And as long as I am not putting my hands on this person, I can say what I want to say and it is not really doing much harm. That is a demonic lie. A very huge demonic lie. The Bible says, I may not quote it, uh in the correct way but in pretty much to give an overall view we have to watch what we say not saying that we are going to do everything perfectly but we have to watch what we say we should not be wrongfully fighting people if you understand what I am trying to tell you. So, let me stop here then. May God bless us.